Tara Mason's time in Silent Hill, he meets a lady named Dahlia Gillespie. Dahlia seems like a crazy woman who speaks of a darkness infecting the town and how people will need to be saved from another world. This lady is clearly linked to the nightmarish elements of the town, but Harry isn't quite sure how. Harry speaks with his new friend Sybil Bennett, a police officer who suggests that Dahlia is simply on drugs. Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. According to Sybil, there's been an ongoing drug trafficking investigation in Silent Hill, but nobody has been caught. First of all, let's discuss what drug is being traded in Silent Hill. PTV. Just so you know, the name PTV is just a joke made by developers as a reference to a band called Psychic TV. This is somewhat confirmed when Harry finds a box of the drugs in a place called Nowhere, labelled with the band's name. PTV is a recreational drug used by tourists and citizens of Silent Hill. It is made from White Claudia, which is a plant indigenous to the region of Silent Hill. A perennial herb found near water, reaching heights of 10 to 15 inches, oblong leaves, white blossoms, but most interestingly for the story, the seeds contain a hallucinogen. Ancient records of Silent Hill show it was used for religious ceremonies, and a hallucinogenic effect was key, and so it was used in the drug trade to produce PTV. PTV itself is a popular drug among tourists, which wasn't good for the resort's image, and so local police began an investigation on the drug, to understand more about the herb used to make it, but more to find out who is manufacturing and dealing this product. Harry's first encounter with anything clearly drug-related is when he searches the Indian runner store. Here he finds packs of this drug locked in a safe. There is also a nearby photo of Norman's motel, with a note beside that which reads, Delivered to backdoor daily at 8am, rear entrance code 0886, Norman Young. Our first evidence of this drug trade has been found, but who is Norman Young? Norman Young is, quite obviously, the owner of Norman's Motel. Norman Young is also a former colleague of Michael Kaufman. Michael Kaufman is a doctor who Harry encounters a few times in Silent Hill. One particular instance sees Harry save Dr. Kaufman, who ends up dropping his wallet. In his wallet is a key to a room at Norman's Motel, and a code to access the Indian Runner Store. This is the store where we find the delivery note that I mentioned earlier, which also contains another code to access the motel. Harry is now able to enter the motel by using this code and access Kaufman's room by using the key. Here, Harry finds a few items on a table, including a newspaper article which reads, Investigation stalled. PTV dealers still at large and suspicious deaths continue. Like the anti-drug mayor, a narcotics officer dies of sudden heart failure. There's also a suspicious diary entry. I took the package, uh, told to sit on it a while. I don't want to get involved, but can't disobey. It's probably linked to the death of the mayor and, and others. The person who wrote this is clearly being pressured to help in the drug trade, and seeing as this is the Norman's motel, it would make sense that he is the victim. The person with close ties to Norman, who has power over him and access to drugs like this, is of course, Dr. Kaufman. Later events suggest that people near Kaufman were taking PTV, including a young nurse named Lisa Garland, who even built up an addiction to the drug. Kaufman is also a close associate of the Order, a doomsday cult who is responsible for a lot of the struggle in Silent Hill, including the deaths of many tourists and highly authoritative figures. Does that sound familiar? This ambition of the Order sounds exactly like what the PTV serves, a drug which has controlled and even killed people. This drug is the ideal product for a cult looking to silence those who want to put an end to their rituals of sacrifice and other extreme activities. It's his possession of this drug and power within Alcamilla Hospital which makes him a great associate of the cult, specifically to Dahlia Gillespie, who is the crazy woman Harry found earlier in the story. 
Dahlia also happens to be a priestess of the Order. Kaufman and Dahlia have worked together by keeping her child Alessa a secret in the hospital basement. Alessa's personal nurse was Lisa Garland, the nurse that I mentioned earlier who was pressured by Kaufman as he supplied her with PTV. Despite being a close associate of the Order, he doesn't 100% trust them. He even goes as far as to obtain Agliophotus to prevent or kill any evil spirits created by the cult, whether that's through manifestations or through parasites. Agliophotus is an extremely rare liquid used to dispel evil spirits. It's one thing Dali and the Order can't tolerate Kaufman having, as this could destroy any of the spirits that they create or manifest. Dahlia even goes as far as to destroy the Agliophotus in Kaufman's office at Al Camilla Hospital. But, unbeknownst to Dahlia, Michael always kept a secret bottle of it. I love it. I thought I got rid of that. This bottle can even be found by Harry in the garage of Norman's motel, much to the frustration of Kaufman. What is this? That's none of your business. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? Harry can also use Agliophotus by picking it up in Kaufman's office using a plastic bottle he finds nearby. This is then used to save Sybil, who becomes possessed with one of the evil spirits of the Order, a parasite which has infected her, but then leaves her body once the Agliophotus has been used. It is clear from the complex uses and manufacturing of these drugs in Silent Hill that Mastermind is behind it all. Someone who wants control, power, and security. Kaufman helps the Order in keeping their sacrifices secret. He hides the newspaper articles and public reports to protect his authoritative status. He stores and distributes drugs and rare herbs, and then uses them to remain in control. My, I'd be getting cocky. And in a world like Silent Hill, control is the only thing you would hope to have. This was the secret drug trade in Silent Hill, and the people, or person, behind it. Although you could consider this case closed, there are many mysteries still left for us to solve. <laughs>